And welcome back to the Advent series, and today is December 23rd. What is a traditional Christmas dinner? Do we think of turkey with all the fixings complete with stuffing, a casserole of some sort, and fruitcake? A ham? Fish, even? It will vary from household to household or from country to country. But usually the centerpiece of any Christmas dinner is going to be a huge hunk of meat. I mean, well, why back in the day it was a stag that got carved up put up for a show, or a swan cooked and then covered in its own feathers, or a boar's head smeared in black lard. It'd be a bit weird if there was nothing there in the center of the table, some giant piece of meat taking up a lot of real estate. And it can either be pork, beef, or poultry, but fish is a no-go. Why is that? I've seen those big slices of salmon that go for $22 at the grocery store, and they make they make pretty good presentations. And the lobster wouldn't go amiss, or a heap of cooked shrimp with cocktail sauce in the middle. But there are always more of hors d'oeuvres than the entree. I mean, we also like to make surf and turf a thing, but it's more an occasional thing that you see in the summertime. The winter, not so much. Well, let's change that. Having a nice slice of fish with your steak or turkey like ought to be as acceptable for a Christmas dinner as a Cornish game hen or ham drenched in honey and white peppercorns. I suppose it's a taste factor, but I've seen people eat fish without so much as making a face, so I doubt it's that big of a factor. But it's one to consider. And is it safe to say that people don't want to mix things up after having the same old thing six years in a row? I mean, my family had turkey for four years, and then we migrated to duck, and we haven't looked back. Unless you count the turkey breast we cooked last year, but we had that with sliced ham. Which then leads me to another point. Why must we stick to the same old thing just because it's always been this way? Surfing turf doesn't need to be something that is relegated to a menu special at a restaurant. And why can't we eat it during other times of the year? So you bring out the turkey this Christmas and plunk it on the table and it's got shrimp coming out of its cavity. I mean, what's so weird about that? Or sliced ham paired with salmon. I bet you someone in the family has gone pescatarian. This will surely make them feel more welcome. And it will give your dinner a twist. Maybe not something to gossip about, but maybe a good Instagram post. Turkey with shrimp coming out of its ass. I mean, it doesn't sound appealing, but the pictures will make it far more appealing. To some. In any case, bucking the trend this Christmas ought to be something we all try. A bacon-covered turkey is a move in the right direction, but we can do better. We can try to make something about this, this year's Christmas dinner a bit more interesting. Uh, something to vlog about. And if we just put up one shrimp in the cavity, we'll have made things far more spontaneous than the years past.